So you've been showing a, a flexible e-ink. So what is the latest with that? So we've always made flexible e-ink displays for segmented applications. We've shipped literally tens of millions of those. For matrix type products, we've always had displays with the glass back. So we've actually built a all flexible display using e-ink's technology, both for the front plane as well as the back plane. This entire thing is built by e-ink. And it's a flexible display that's high resolution. We can go up to 300 dots per inch with this particular type of display. And the idea is not to make a display that's floppy. Uh, you can flex it a little bit. The main advantage is it won't break. So whether you drop it or you pound on it, uh, particularly when we build devices that will be used in uh, schools, um, that is, we believe that will be very beneficial where you have a shatterproof display. And the other advantage is when you go into larger format displays like this, it weighs so much less than LCD. So imagine a de large device where you can hold it with one hand, use the other hand for writing and so on and so forth. So we've been talking about this for a while. We actually now have a shipping product. This is made by Wexler. It's an e-reader device that uses the e-ink display technology. And you can see it's slightly curved to show that it's a flexible display. And all of the electronics is right here in the spine. And the display is here on the top. It, it weighs very little. And whether I drop it on this table or I fling it across uh, the room, it's not going to break because there is no uh, glass to break. So. What I have here in my hand is an e-reader where you can put thousands of books. So a child could use this. Uh, it'll literally be a small library with a flexible display. And just like a book, you can drop it. You can, you know, accidentally, you can put your <laughs> elbow on it. This is one of the things we've heard with e-readers. It's extremely rugged and uh, very, very light. So we can create very large devices without uh, having somebody to hold it with both hands. It's very thin and light. And obviously, we have the other advantage of all of e-ink's technology, extremely readable, probably the best uh, reading medium uh, among uh, electronic display technologies. It is sunlight readable, so you can re read it outdoors without any issue. It is also, uh, we can put uh, uh, front lights uh, to make the display readable uh, in the dark, and we're taking benefits of all of e-ink's technology. So is it as uh, readable as the same resolution on a non-flexible? Uh, exactly. We can make this, uh, whether it is um, uh, a, a, a glass-based or a, a flexible uh, backplane-based, the resolution can be quite high because we're using the same microcapsules and essentially the resolution is dictated by the backplane electronics. And we've been um, shipping this to Wexler who's deploying this in uh, Russia and elsewhere. So we are finally in mass production with the uh, flexible display. And uh, this is really awesome, but how soon is uh, something uh, this size available on the market? Um, flexible. A, a display itself has been created, and we are in the process of making these displays, but our customers are not announced, uh, uh, publicly announced uh, devices with these kind of uh, displays quite yet. But we hope in 2013 that'll change. 2013 is a flexible screen year? Correct. It is? Yes. All right. So you just have electronics hanging on this side and back yeah, and that's it? Yeah, exactly. So the uh, drive electronics, the row and column drivers, the other uh, uh, components are on this uh, flex and that's bonded to the display and there's a connector that will uh, connect to the rest of the system. Could you explain a little bit the other technologies and screens? They're doing flexible at Samsung too and stuff. Well, how is it different? Um, so flexible displays is something that is the quest of the industry. Everybody's been trying to do flexible for a long time. Uh, so far as I know, E-Ink's electrophoretic display technology is the only one that's in mass production with flexible displays. We've seen prototypes of flexible displays with LCD, with OLEDs and others for many years, uh, but there are a lot of challenges. Just like E-Ink had a lot of challenges uh, bringing this to market, uh, I think all of those technologies will also go through the same learning curve and eventually I believe a lot of uh, display technologies will get to flexible because flexible will allow you to make a very rugged device uh, similar to paper where there's nothing to break plus it's very light you can imagine foldable displays rollable displays and so on these are the things that you'll see in the future but right now we have a very practical application for a um, display uh, based e-reader device that can be used in um, environment where, um, for example, if children use them and they drop them, there is no glass to break. 
and the industrial designers must have a lot of fun thinking up all kinds of designs they could do with this. Absolutely. So you're all of a sudden, you're not building bezels that have to protect the glass or, you know, you're not using expensive components. You can use much less expensive components. Designs become easier and it's definitely a joy to work with these uh, flexible uh, displays. Now, if you, uh, if you think about flexible displays that we use in segmented applications, you have an added advantage, whereas you can cut them into different shapes. That's what we use, whether it's in a wristwatch application, whether it's used in the lock that I showed earlier. You can make, we can make donut shaped displays. We can make displays of any shape and kind. I'll give you one example right here of a display that we have designed, and you can shape it to any uh, form, whether it's uh, uh, circular, you can shape them uh, literally. If you can cut it with a laser, we can make the display of that 